Hey guys, it's AOD here with a new Demon Hunter video from 2.1.2 PTR post M6 nerf. This is the second version of the 2.1.2 patch in which they allegedly fixed the bug with the M6 set which was doing too much damage. I'm not exactly sure what was wrong with it before, but compared to other classes apparently we were doing too well, smashing through Greater Rift's 50 plus solo. I realized this today, the hard way, since I opened up a 50 rift without checking the changes and got smashed due to doing almost no damage at all compared to before. As you probably know by now though, the M6 set bonus got changed from the live version and you actually need to adopt a more active playstyle in order to do any damage whatsoever. That means that the sentries will not be shooting spenders by themselves, but instead they will do that every time you shoot them yourself, so basically copying your moves. Now I personally like this change due to several reasons, but more importantly due to the change in gameplay. You'll also be using different items compared to before, not that many, but still several other choices. For fire builds you might consider the Cinder Cloak, whereas for cold, Pridesfall is an amazing piece of gear due to the resource cost reduction on the items. A very important item for both builds however is the Reaper's Wraps with the type of elemental damage you'll be using of course. Gem wise nothing much has changed you'll be using the Bane of the Trapped, Enforcer and Zaystone of Vengeance gems. Sentry skill now uses charges instead of the old cooldown and Bombardiers doesn't offer you additional charges but instead allows you to still drop 5 sentries. This means you'll have max of 3 charges at one time with custom engineering allowing you to burst targets down pretty fast. The build is pretty simple, using evasive fire with focus for the hatred regen, cluster arrow with maelstrom for the actual damaging skill, ballistics as a passive of course, Preparation with punishment for more hatred replenishment. Basically the idea is to be able to burst as much as possible with all your sentries down, just shoot until you almost deplete your hatred, use your wolf, shoot again and then preparation for even more bursts during your wolf phase. This of course while trying to keep your prideful buff up. Something else I found pretty interesting in this patch is the fact that you can encounter goblin packs inside the greater rifts and while they do not drop any items apart from mats, blood shards and gold, they still give you a ton of progress after killing them, so don't ignore it. You also have way more time than usual to kill them before they escape. The conduit pylon has also been heavily nerfed and feels like it's almost doing no damage at all, best pylon currently being the channeling one since it allows you to clear screens in an instant with all sentries, buffs up and cluster arrow spammage. Anyway, that was about it guys, more videos will be coming later with PTR progress, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video now, see you next time.